Let's create this motion effect on PowerPoint. Let's kick off with going to insert, then go to shapes, and then pick this round rectangle over here and just drag it over like this. Stretch it a bit like this. Then you will have a yellow dot over here, just smooth it out a bit and squeeze it a bit like this. So you have this basic shape over here right now. Then I'll just drag over this, go to shape outline and make no outlines. Then I'll go to shape fill and make it this color. Done. Now the basic shape is ready. Now for the animation part. I'll zoom out a bit by going to here and minimizing it a bit so that we can see the screen. Done. Then I'm going to rotate it holding down shift like this. Done. Then I'll put it right over here. Alright. So basic thing is done. Then we'll go to animations and click on this option for more. Then we'll go to lines and click this. So we'll initially see nothing. Basically the green point states that the animation will start from here and the red point is the ending point. So I'm going to click on the ending point and put it right over here. Done. So our basic thing is done. Then if I go to the slideshow and click on it and hit a click, I'll see this is the animation that happens. So our basic animation is done. I'll hit escape to get to the main screen. Now I'll just minimize it a bit like this. Yes, done. Then what I'll do is go to animation pen and here's the thing what I'm going to do. I'll click on this for more options and click on effect options. Then I'll just zero down both of these options. Then go to timing and repeat it until the end of slide. And start with previous. Done. Now I'll have something like this. If I hit slideshow on, I'll see that the animation repeats itself again and again and again. All I need to do now is just duplicate this thing. So I'll hit escape to get to the main screen. Done. Now I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it and put it right over here. Ctrl D to duplicate. I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it further some more times. So I'll have all this. I'll press Ctrl D again and maybe put it right over here. Ctrl D D D D D. So I have many of this. Now what I'll do is randomize this a bit. Before I do that, I'll drag over all of this and press Ctrl D one more time. There you go. So as you can see that it has also created all the animations over here. So what I need to do now is randomize this. So what I'll do is click on this and increase the duration to 3.5. Click on this and increase the duration to about this. I'll click on multiple of this and click 3.5 and I'll click this. Holding down control, I can select many more than just one. So I'll increase this and I'll also delay this a bit so that it also randomizes that stuff. So this might be a bit painstaking for a while, but this should serve just nice. As you go along the process, it will serve you just fine. So I'm randomizing this a bit much more. There you go. Now if I hit the slideshow, I'll have something like this. So as you can see, we have already our motion animation ready. So I want to get it a little more farther. What I will do is just drag over all of this and press Ctrl D again to duplicate them. I have all of this. Then I will minimize them a bit, holding on shift, done, and minimize them a bit further, there you go. And I will drag over all of this, maybe this part, and minimize them a bit more, or maybe yeah, shrink them a bit more, and I will randomize this. So I will put right over here, right over here. So you can see that I am trying to randomize all these options. So basically our animation is ready to roll. So when I'm done, I'll just see the slideshow and our raining motion is ready. And if you want to add text over it, just go to insert, go to word art, hit this and click thoughts in motion. T-H-O-U-H-G-H-T's thoughts in motion. Apostrophe. Done. I'll drag over all of this text and go to home and change the font to maybe dagger square and get rid of the shadow and make it this color and increase the size a bit put it up in the middle there you go and our animation is ready your thoughts in motion and that's how you create the motion effect on powerpoint and this can be done in any powerpoint so thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there will be one new video every friday so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get a new video every friday and become a powerpoint pro thanks